What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English bit. I'm Katya. Today's lesson is going to be short and I hope useful. I love learning synonyms. And today I've prepared 11 synonyms to replace to be good at. Of course, we can say I'm good at swimming, for example. But today we're going to add flavor and color to our English and learn 11 alternatives or to be good at. Are you ready? If so, grab a pen and your vocabulary notebook and let's get going. So let's get started. The first option on my list today is an idiom and I think it's one of my favorite synonyms and it's my strong suit. One simple sentence, writing is my strong suit. And now let's move on to the second alternative, second nature. And if you want, you can also say to someone. We use it when we want to say that we can do something very easily, automatically, and without needing to think very much about it. And one simple sentence that can be very useful for your essays or maybe speaking exam. Technology is second nature to many digital natives. The third option, we've got a C1 verb, to come easily, or we can also say to come naturally and to someone is optional. We use this verb to say that we can do something very easily with little effort or learning. Here I've got two examples about me. The first one, languages come easily to me. And one more, swimming comes naturally to me. Number four, we've got a very similar synonym, to be a natural. And if you want, you can add at something. It means that you were born for doing something. The first example, he's a natural at speaking in public. And the second example comes from the song Mirrorball by Taylor Swift. And she sings, I've never been a natural. All I do is try, try, try. I can relate to it. Number five, to have a flair for something. It means to have the natural ability to do something well. For example, Taylor Swift has a flair for music. Number six, to have a way with something or someone. It means to be especially good at dealing with things or people. Two examples, she has a way with words or he has a way with children. And guys, before we continue and learn more synonyms, just a super quick reminder. If you like my channel, please make sure to subscribe to English Bits and press the bell icon so that you can get a notification whenever there is a long lesson or shirts. Thank you for your love and support. And now we're going to learn five more synonyms. Number seven, to do something with ease. One simple sentence, they adapt to change with ease. Number eight, to have a genius for something or to have a genius for doing something. One simple sentence, he has a genius for designing impressive buildings. Number nine, to have a magic touch with someone or something. For example, she has a magic touch with restoring old furniture. And one more example, he has a magic touch with babies. Two more to go, number 10, to have an eye for something, or we can also say to have a good eye for something. It means to have an ability to notice something. Let's put it into a simple sentence. He has a good eye for detail. 
And last but not least, can or could do something in your sleep. It means that you can do something easily because you've done it many times before. And the last simple sentence for today, I've made this cake many times. I could do it in my sleep. So guys, that's it for today. I really hope you enjoyed this short and sweet lesson. And if you know more synonyms to replace I'm good at something, please let me know in the comments down below. And today I've got homework for you. Please pick one expression that we have learned today and write a sentence telling me what you're good at. Leave your sentence in the comments down below. Thank you. And of course, if you learned something new, please don't forget to give this lesson a huge thumbs up, to subscribe to English Bits, and remember that you can catch me on Instagram, where I teach English every day through TV shows and quizzes. And of course, thank you for all your love and support. Thank you for joining me today and see you next Wednesday with a short and on Sunday a long lesson as usual. Thank you, have a lovely Sunday and see you soon. Ciao for now!